What are we expecting to happen tonight? Oh yeah, well, so people are going to LA in droves. Everyone who has an invitation is super excited and people are like, Elon, let me give you my money. So the big question tonight will be, are they gonna take customer deposits for this vehicle? How much will the deposit be and will they reveal how many reservations they have? Dan, do you have any projected answers to those questions? Look, I mean, in our opinion, in, in terms of what we're going to see today, I think they'll definitely tip the hand in terms of opening up for reservations. Look, our initial sort of stab is about sort of 10,000 units would be the sort of pre-reservations that you could see from Model Y, which won't actually get you know, kind of produced till 2Q 2020. But look, we view this as a potential game changer. The crossover SUV, you talk about must need and a win. We think this has the product pricing and some of the specs. And then that's really what the street's gonna be focused on is can this be the silver bullet of growth that's definitely needed in terms of the EV tax credit coming off in the US. Gene Munster of Loop Ventures predicted in a note that the price would be around $39,000, which is far less than the Jaguar SUV, the Audi SUV. It sounds like a great price. I mean, does that sound realistic to you? Yeah, we've said on the low end kind of 36 to 37 with some features could get up to 48 to 49. It's the sweet spot. What they're going after from a pricing perspective Look, we believe Model Y could be 15 to 20 percent of all units that Tesla sells when we look out three, four years, you know, along with the Roadster and some others coming out. So that's why this is a fork in the road situation for Musk uh, and Tesla, and they really need to deliver not just tonight, but over the coming quarters and even with Europe deliveries with Model 3. Yeah, I didn't realize, Dana, that SUVs are 45% of the U.S. market. Yeah, That's Amer huge. Americans are basically ditching sedans. They want SUVs. Like, female drivers like the higher ride seat. People have kids, soccer teams. They want to be able to throw their bike in the back. I mean, you've just seen this wholesale shift to SUVs that's been pretty striking over the past decade or so. Now, Dan, what are you most looking forward to at this event? And, and, and Dan, in, in a moment, is going to talk to us about how difficult it is to cover Tesla events like this. But this is basically... One one big party. Look, I mean, it's. I think it's, it's the first good news we've had, obviously, in you know maybe three, four months. I think what we're looking for, I think what many are looking for, is kind of as Dana was talking about, is understanding the timeline here. When do we see reservations? What's production? Will this have a third row? What are the specs? And I think right now it's really trying to get under the hood and can this be the product? that really helps further define Tesla in terms of where they are in the market. Because they've definitely gone through a situation where they've got punched in the stomach and investors have also seen that. But I think right now, 2019, it's a defining year for Musk and tonight it starts. And that's why we're excited to be there to really kick the tires and, uh, you know, and, and potentially test drive it. Now, Bloomberg has a team down in L.A. to cover this event, Dana. But, you know, talk to us about your history of covering Tesla <laughs> events and, and, and what that is like. Well, so the events are big parties. And what's tricky is that you don't really get a lot of information from the company ahead of time, typically, about what's going to be revealed. So you're learning in real time as Musk is talking, just like everybody who's in the room. And then you've got to file a story, even though, like, you'd much rather, you know, get a cocktail and sort of talk to people. So um, I will be watching the live stream tonight. But it is live streamed. People turn in from around the world. It is exciting to be there. I mean, hands down, Tesla puts on great events. People love to go to them. And they often go into the very wee hours of the morning. 